Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Nancy from nancybadija.com and today I'm going to be talking about how to open a zip file. And the reason why I decided to create um, this tutorial is because being an Etsy seller, especially when I do bundles of um, digital downloads, this is like one of the most common questions I get. A lot of people are confused on how to download a zip file, how to use them, and why I why am I putting them on a zip file? As you guys know, um, when you download digital files on Xe, you're only allowed to download five files, each with a maximum of 20 megabytes. So if you're doing a large bundle size that you're selling multiple items, a zip folder is, is very convenient. Um, so let's begin by just talking about what is a zip file. So a zip file is a digital folder containing multiple documents, graphic or images, or all combined. And they have been compressed into a, into a single zip folder to easily share with others. And using a zip file does make emailing or downloading files faster and more efficient. So imagine if you have to email a customer um, 15 attachments and you're able to split those 15 into three folders so five five and five you compress each folder you send them you send it to them in an email so now or they download it from their their XE purchase and reviews page so now they're downloading three folders that combine a total of 15 attachments but imagine if you were emailing someone 15 separate attachments just the fact that you're emailing so much attachments, one, it might not go through because it's too large of a file. Two, it's going to drive the customer crazy because he's going to be like, oh my God, I have all these files. And three, a lot of people, even when you down, when even when you send them one file, they can't locate it. Imagine if they have to locate in their computer 15 separate files. So it's very convenient. Um, when you're doing multiple files, because you could put them all in one folder, send them over. It's more efficient, it's faster, qu quicker for you, and it's also faster for the customer as well. For my store, majority of my digital downloads are compressed down into a zip file, more because of the limitation on XE that you can only do five files, and also because it's just easier for, for myself and easier for the customer to download that one folder with all their files versus having to download individual files. Now, do keep in mind that when you're opening a zip file, you should be doing it from a computer or a desktop. It, do it does work on a mobile device, but you will need to download a third-party app to download it from a mobile device. So that's another thing that happens a lot on Xe. A lot of people try to download it from the mobile device they're not able to, so then they're therefore they're like, I can't download it. It's because you can't do it unless you're using a third-party app. So when you download a zip file, I'm just gonna give you like a quick tutorial on using it from a Mac perspective. From a Windows, it is a little bit longer. You can also go to my my blog at nancybadija.com. I have the link below on the listing description where I show you the step-by-step -step on how to do it from a Windows computer. Vista, I mean a Windows or Vista, and then also Mac. But the Mac is the easiest one out of all three. So basically, let's say this is the file I wanted to download. So you just click on it. It's going to automatically download. You go down here. You're going to wait until the whole file downloads first. Now you always want to. What you always want to do is you want to put once it's finished downloading, you want to drag that file and download it to your desktop. So for Mac, you just download it and you're done. That's that is that simple. If you had a Windows, you would download it. It would still be in the zip file. So you would download it, drag it, right click, and then extract the items inside of it. So for this one, I'm just going to click on it and then all my items are in there. So I was able to do five items in one zip file compared to sending five individual files, basically. But that's all you have to do. Once you're done using the files, then you could go ahead and move to trash or, or keep it depending on what you're doing. But this is how you download a zip file, 
how you open it, and the purpose of using a zip file. Especially as an SC user, most likely, especially if you've never used it before, you are going to start using zip files when you are sending multiple items to a customer. It is the best way to do it because it's going to be easier for you, and then they're going to have all their files in one place versus having to look for them individually. I hope this tutorial came in handy. If you have any questions about zip files or any additional videos that you would like me to create, make sure you leave a comment below. I really I do appreciate all the feedback I've been getting on my videos. And make sure that you subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'll be adding additional videos um, about XE, about digital marketing, branding yourself online, social media platforms, and a lot more videos of, of different things that I'll be teaching you guys. So thank you for watching again, and you guys have a wonderful night. Bye-bye.